the World Trade Organization is ready for business. And to prove this, they're all set to unveil a $1 trillion trade accord. The accord, dubbed the Trade Facilitation Agreement, will have a major impact on developing economies because it standardizes custom procedures in addition to slashing the time, cost and complexity of taking goods over borders. I think in the history of the WTO since 1995, it's the largest, and it's the first multilateral agreement that has uh, been put in place and it's also the one that will have the, the largest impact. You know, there, there are estimates that once fully implemented, uh, this could uh, have an impact of around 2.7 percentage points on trade expansion um, throughout the world every year until say 2030 uh, and half a percentage uh, point of GDP growth around the world. So it's, it's, it's could have a very, very, very significant impact. Jordan, Chad and Kuwait are all poised to ratify, which would tip the agreement over the required mark of 110 WTO members to take effect. Where a product may have previously taken six to seven weeks to arrive at its destination, things are headed for change. If the, the agreement is fully implemented and implemented correctly, um, they will get it in a few days. So things are going to cross the border much more easily, much more transparently and uh, at lower costs. The US, EU, China and Japan were among the early adopters. However, it's too early to tell whether the new US administration will be on board. Because of the fluidity of the situation, there could be an increase in trade disputes and the WTO was ready to handle them. The problem with trade wars is ignoring the system, it's, it's, it's doing things completely outside the disciplines, the rules, and not even paying attention to any of that. And that's what I have been saying, that I think it's a bad scenario, very bad scenario. The outlook for the wild trade growth is hard to predict because of the conflicting signals. Many are now worried about a trade war, while others anticipate an accelerating US economy and improving business environment. Leslie Murungu, CGTN.